today I've decided to treat myself because these drives to the house are a little hectic, uh, about two and a half, three hours each way. So I decided to treat myself and take out the Bugatti Chiron, aka <laughs> the Bugatti Avalon, what I call one of one Avalon ever made. Currently has almost 320,000 clicks on it. This car is a beast of a vehicle. This is like one of those cars that I feel like every brown person has in their family. Um, and the father refuses to sell. Like my dad refused to sell this car. He'd rather spend $50,000 a year to maintain this car, make sure that's up and running versus sell it. And he already has a second car, a nicer, better car. But he just won't sell this car. And it's so funny because it still keeps running, dude. It's like probably one of the nicest driving cars that we have in the family. This drives more smoother than my BMW. And that's honestly kind of a flex to Toyota. By the way, the only entertainment that I have in this car is an old cassette from the 1800s um, that plays a very old man with a like demonic voice. <laughs> This is my only entertainment. Yeah. What is he even saying? All right. So three hours of this. I'll see you guys at the house. All right, guys. So I planned to be here at nine o'clock. Actually, no, never mind. I'm sorry. Marina told us both that we should be at this busy intersection parking lot at nine a.m. in the morning. It is nine. So for me to get here, I have to get up around six <laughs> o'clock in the morning, get ready by seven, get here by nine, because it's a very long drive. I'm here, I've been here. Crazy bun. She been late. It's, I'm only like She's late guys. I late. sat in the car and I took a nap. Is there a female out there that is on time? I'm on time. Every time. Not, not every time. Sorry, I gotta do my, my hair. Transition. Do you guys like how when I transition, my hat just pops out of nowhere? <laughs> All right, so we're back at the property. Agenda for today. We have H5 guy coming. He installed the units. He needs to do some last minute work to make sure that everything's up and running properly. We have the guys in the backyard finishing up the deck. We might also start on the fence today as well in the backyard. We have the siding guys gonna complete the siding of the property today as well. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Uh, and then we have all the other rest of the work happening inside the property with the cabinets, the basement flooring uh, started yesterday. I think they're completing that today as well. And as always guys, I gotta make my runs and spend my money at uh, Home Depot. Let's go inside, check it out. Show you guys the siding and how good that, how good that shit looks. Look at that. So we went with the darker gray. But see, yeah, that looks nice. Obviously, don't mind the mess in the front. As soon as we clean that up, it's gonna look a lot nicer. Let us go inside and check out what's going on there. So we installed the door as well. And we're gonna paint this, I'm thinking orange, like a bright orange. And then obviously we're gonna paint these as well. I clean this up. This looks mess, like a mess and dirty. And also today we're gonna clean up the front deck from patio and uh, stain it, clean it, stain it uh, by tomorrow. You guys have put up the baseboards on the stairs. These are good, sanded, they just need to be cleaned up so that we can sand it and then start painting the stairs. Looks like they almost completed installing the ceramic on the fireplace. They just need to add grout and the last piece on the fireplace, but they'll do that once they install the fireplace itself and then also the baseline as well. We have the granite countertop guy coming today as well um, to start working on the countertops. I've already paid him for that work, so we are good to go. The HVAC guy initially he had installed this piece the for the vent the kitchen vent and it was not centered. So he had to cut it and recenter it based on where the cabinets goes. That's why you guys see the drywall that they had to cut there and reinstall. This is the pot filler. That's where we're gonna have that. Let's check out the deck. How are you? Good 
So the deck is still in progress, but quite a bit of work made. All right, this is the right side of the property. Uh, guys still working on the siding. Not really the siding, but they're adding the downsprouts, which is this piece right here for the drainage, rain drains. I'm just literally making up words, rain drain. <laughs> and it's a bit the spider. <laughs> the spider. What was that? How are you? Yeah, so there you go, another one that they installed. It's a new piece. Yeah, right there. Okay. Alright, let's head over to the basement very quickly, see what work progress has been done here. So flooring is complete. Looks like in the electrical room as well. Hola, como estas? <laughs> I'm trying to test this out. He's like, he's like, are you dancing? <laughs> It's so funny, you're just like stepping on the floor just to make sure like everything's good. This guy's like, yo, you're dancing out here, bro. <laughs> Trying to test the work. Looks good. Looks good. All right, so we have two disconnects, right? Oh, those are the, uh, the outlets yeah, outlet. for the island. It is so loud in here! All right, so, Barry, what? Oh, look. Yo, this, this girl loves her, uh, she loves her pop fillers. Yeah. We have a golden pop filler, which... Man, it's a must, it's a must. It's a must, which is supposed to match the rest of these aesthetics and, and fixtures in the house. And it has to be gold, guys. If this is gold, everything else has to be gold, too. That's Marina. Yes. <laughs> but but uh, that needs to be replaced because yeah. it is not centered. Uh, with where the island is. So what we did was we bought uh, three separate pieces that we can just uh, add and distance them out properly. So it's centered. What I'm trying to say is uh, this is our third time trying a fixture over the island. And I'm hoping the third time is gonna be the charm. This one's gotta go. We replaced the light fixture at the front door as well, front entrance uh, to this to match the aesthetics of what we're gonna put at the fireplace. Right, that one. Uh, the problem is that two of the globes or whatever, like glass that came with it, they were cracked. So that one, three of them, and those three were cracked. So we're gonna have to re uh, purchase that again and uh, try to fix that. See you guys in a little bit. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Let's do walk around a little more, get and idea of what more we're gonna do today. And then I have to make a couple, uh, couple of trips to the Home Depot and Lowe's. And uh, we'll take it from there, guys. So the guys showed me a sample of the stain that we're gonna use for the stairs. They use different ones to give me different examples. And I am to select one that closest matches the floor. This. Let's see. I'm thinking, and the camera may not show that properly, but that looks too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this. That's the closest match. What do you all think? Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. So pretty much, I don't care what you guys think. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I do. I do these walk-offs from whatever I'm doing as if I have other shit to do, but I don't have anything else to do, so I'm gonna go back to the stairs. And that's complete, so I'm gonna go back to that area. What do you have to do? We have to go to Home Depot. Home Depot! 
There's plenty to go. Plenty. All right. I'm trying to say it's nothing to do here. Let's go to Home Depot, get some stuff. Yeah, I went through a list of stuff that he needs. Okay. I also talked to the guys, so uh, they can replace the hardware with this. Dude, I need to get the size. So the hardware for the bathrooms that we had was silver. Uh, we're gonna replace it with this. They said they can do it. They can, they're just gonna put like white More holes, copies. yeah. So to make it make sense to what I'm talking about. So these are silver and everything else is brass gold. Uh, I'm gonna replace it with these. But the problem is that the, the holes that they have for this is an inch. The holes they have for this is a lot bigger. So you're gonna have to figure out a way to make new holes and install these instead. It's gonna look like that. It's the small details that are like the most stressful. I missed that completely. Wow. Kobe! <laughs> Don Romati is doing some top G shit. Look at that clean cut. Look at that clean cut. Top G. <laughs> High value man over here. <laughs>